grades, whatever that might mean. But you know, he graded out 84, 86 percent. You know, you look at that from a special team standpoint, that just only marks the type of player that he is, right? The preparation that he puts into his to into his job. And he treats it no different than special teams. And so he poured his all into it. And for him to have success like that, game winning interception, says a lot about the player and his professionalism. Did he play all his normal special teams? He did, so I had to pull him off of basically all three phases, kickoff, kickoff return, press return. So he ended up only playing on PP. Because I just I needed him on that phase. And so, you know, he, he he uh, he got through it. You know, it wasn't you know he wasn't fresh legs out there, but he did yeah. he did the best that he could out there. He was still able to go ahead and make a good impact in that phase. And so uh, you know I was really encouraged to see how he played on defense. And glad to get him back. Glad you to tell, get him back. You can tell me I'm crazy on this, but the doors being open on that side were gracious to and the other guy missed one. If all three of them. Oh, all way, way right, right way uh, right. Any, do you ever, did, when you first got here, did you have to look at anything in the wind? In the I did not, I did not, I, I, I didn't. I actually, I never really truly considered that. Okay. Uh, you know, me and Greg actually had conversations about that. And he said too that that, that wasn't really anything that okay. he ever really truly thought about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to Brian Asamoah, you, meant, uh, you mentioned the big play that he made. Um, just, I guess, what does what uh, his like explosiveness do for you on special? Oh, it does everything. I mean, you look at a guy who has a combo with speed, power that he has at the size that he has. I mean, the guy's arms are so long, I mean, scratch his knees standing up, the ability that he has. So when you start talking about a guy with that type of length and that combo of speed and power, his ability to punch guys and separate, uh, it means everything, especially when you look at it from a kickoff standpoint, a punt, a punt standpoint, just having that length and explosion. I mean, we, on week in, week out, I'm sure opponents probably say him seeing it as like a true like matchup problem, and we see it as a matchup plus. Um, so, yeah. Able to have two misses by the opponent this past week. Was there any think, residual from having blocked one the week before? I would or? definitely say so, uh, you know, because P2 still was really still applying some good pressure off the edge right there. We got some really good interior rush. And so, again, everything from a special teams operation standpoint, when those things start getting sped, sped, sped up, it really kind of throws off the complete operation. You kind of look at it from a pressure return standpoint where Jack Fox came into the game averaging 57 yards a punt, uh, over a 49 net. And, you know, we were kind of on the delay of game, kind of spooked him a little bit. Uh, then following two punts was a 39-yarder and a 33-yarder. I mean, he ended up netting like 44, and his average ended up being like right around like 43, 46 or something like that. And so just the ability to apply that pressure really throws off the time clock and the operation where things start to get sped up and guys kind of get out of their rhythm. When it comes to making the decision on a long field goal, like uh, how does that operation work on a on a game day? Like uh, typically, usually we go into the game. Uh, I speak with our uh, game management coordinator, Ryan Cordell, and he kind of asked me, like after we finish warm ups, after Greg's finished hitting, he asked me, you know, what do you think the line is today? Like, gotta have it in the half, in the game type situations. So I let him know, and then we always talk about, okay, we're regular circumstances. What is the line? So I always kind of, you know, the line is always different based off of who we're playing, the quarterback that we're up against, you know, do we want to play the field position battle and, um, you know, the weather conditions. And so typically we usually go about it that way. And then once we kind of pass a 50, it's either we're in four down territory or, you know, we, we, we get to a certain yard lines like, okay, he uh, communicates, okay, hey, you in field goal range here because we've already pre-discussed, you know, what that line is. So that's kind of the... the is the line a line no matter what? Like, or does it change? Like, he missed the 156. Right. Is it still going to be the line? Right. Um, I would say yes because, you know, the thing is is that you, you love to continue to have confidence in your mm -hmm. kicker. Uh, you know, just because he goes out and misses a 56. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if I want to send him out there to go try for a 59, 60 yarder. But if he has the opportunity to get another shot at the 56 yarder, absolutely, let's send him back out there again. And, you know, that's exactly what we did. So I still feel good about where Greg is. Uh, I still have the utmost confidence in him. I know he'll bounce back this game and be ready to go. What do you know about the turf over there? Anything yet? Man, you, you know, yeah. So, you know, we was talking about it actually earlier, and I was asking, like, hey, like, 
they removed the grass to, to give us turf, and I guess it's like it's the sacred grass over there that the you know, UK <laughs> just don't want us playing on that grass. And it's, you know, uh, Greg was saying like only groundskeepers and players are actually allowed to even be on on the grass. Uh, so I guess it's a special sacred type of grass over there. Um, but you know, it's no different. Than, it's a little bit of a not. It's not so soft as the turf that we have over here. It's a little bit harder and not as thick. Uh, so you know, we have to adjust it just a little bit, but it shouldn't be any issues. Like hitting out of fairway, though. Yeah, like hitting out of fairway. <laughs> hitting out of fairway. Hitting out of fairway.